Good morning and welcome to the broadcast everybody. This is going to be a fun day. Let me just show you what I got. I just bought the new MS461C. It does have the M-Tronics and like everybody else I'm skeptical about the new fangled stuff but we bought it. It's got a two year warranty so we're going to go into it with a positive attitude and some optimism. We've got Orville the Ford F750 dump truck on site today. We've got Old Yeller, our no brand generic excavator and a whole bunch of wood that we've got to get out of here. Step number one, I'm gonna go ahead and load these stumps out because yesterday I was pushing one of these oaks over and I just hung the tips of one of the limbs on that beautiful oak and it hung on and broke it off. So out of my pocket since it was a whoopsie i really didn't want to hurt that tree it's gorgeous but i've got a buddy bringing his bucket truck he's going to trim it back properly so it doesn't do any more harm than i already should have a good contractor will make up for his mistakes while he's here i'm gonna have him blow the top out of that oak or oak <laughs> blow the top out of that white pine just so I can push the rest of the stem on over without any risk of it snagging any of these surrounding trees that I don't want to mess up. We were going to take that oak down, but the homeowner decided he actually wanted to keep it. So we've just got some property clean up to do. I am super excited about trying out that new steel chainsaw and uh, we'll run it today and I will eventually do an actual review on that chainsaw. So. You guys stick around, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's see how quickly we can get us a load of stumps in. Take care of our stump dump. Spill a load of them, won't it? Got to drop them and get that dirt to come on loose as best we can. Probably going to do some editing to. <laughs> edit the numerous drops out I like dropping them on their side it seems to knock the dirt loose better than just landing them straight down seems to anyway it's going to be a couple of truckloads search these bottoms and make sure we get as much dirt out of them as we can. That's a big boy right there. I may let him dry on out a little bit while I haul these other loads off. big stumps in here. They just haul them by themselves. Y'all get down in there. Don't need you sticking up like that. Get down. There we go. I figured I'd have a couple of loads here anyway. Well, I get them in there. Get some of this, these small 
smaller stumps to fill the corners. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Let's see if this one will drop right in the corner pocket. Yep. Shall enough. Originally, I was going to haul this last thing today, but we've had a bit of a change of plans. Please fit. No pine. All hardwoods. Boy, that white oak's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. there's anywhere for that to roll to. I believe that is all pine here. I don't want to waste any good wood here. These trees take hundreds of years to grow. There is no reason to waste them. I mean, I guess turning it to mulch isn't necessarily a waste, but still. All right, let's see how that's looking in the bed. Pretty good little load of wood, isn't it? I believe that'll ride. This will work out perfect. I can uh, take this load of wood over toward Swan and Noah and eat my lunch on the way. Save 
time on this day's work. Boy, that's a heavy load of wood. <laughs> that's got some weight to him for this little truck. I love this kind of work, guys. I'm telling you, this is, this is way more fun than fixing driveways. Let's roll. I got your firewood delivery. How far back you want me to go? That good? One more. One more? That worked out real good. Saving my customers some spawn dooley. And that boy right there, he's bought a lot of gravel from us. Had me deliver it. So that's a good way of giving back to the customers. Let's go back up here and we'll go ahead and drag those big oak logs up and out and get them bucked into sections for delivery, possibly this afternoon. Save customers some more money. You betcha. Hillbilly Forward Service. I can see my next business venture now. Let's go ahead and load the rest of these stumps out. That's a bit of a heavy one right there. He got a little size to him. That thing just does fit in the bed of my truck. Sit on down there, big boy. We'll put some on either side of him, keep him from wallering around. While we're going down the road, it's just a bunch of old junk. That's what this is. Set that right there. That'll do nicely. Got just a couple of little bitty stumps here. I'm wanting to get this area because we're right in front of where Mr. Griffey's got to drop the top out of that pine. Hopefully we'll be here to get some footage of that. That's a fine tree man. Fine feller. Let's see now. I think... Don't want to back his truck into a big hole. But I think... I think that's pretty good. Break right through this, and make sure there isn't any more roots or just junk. Yeah, there's a little bit of something in there. Hmm. Yeah, since it's got dirt in it, we'll just go ahead and throw it in with the stump load. In you go. All right, guys, to go over it again, this is a steel MS462C. It does have the M-Tronics, which is a circuit board. And if the, if the saw starts to bog down, it pours more fuel to it. It also adjusts for extreme elevation change. So you don't have a carb that you have to tune. So it does have decompression valve to make it easier to start let's see if it'll start for me log we bring up is probably going to be about two feet in diameter which really is nothing for this size saw.
more torque than I expected. That's a good saw. <laughs> That's a steel, baby. I've never run a saw like that. And I've run a lot of them. <laughs> I'll run this thing for a few weeks and we'll do a really good review on it. But initial thoughts, wow, wow. Well, unfortunately, this log's got a rotten heart, but it's 21 inches across. I wish I had a good solid log. But I'm sure at some point you guys will get to see this saw cut something more solid.
just in there pretty good. Tree there to take down. So 
I believe that will do on this load. I'm ready for some coffee. It's chilly today. take this because it'd be a pain for somebody to split all right let's all this load off find some coffee warm up a little it's chilly today just got back from hauling that last bunch of white pine rounds off my next mission, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of these white oak rounds, throw them into the dump truck. Then I'm going to get this white pine lined up, ready to be hauled off on Monday. I'm going to go through that pile of junk and this pile, get it all ready for Gene to come up tomorrow. He's going to bring his chipper and chip a lot of this stuff up for us and of course finish my coffee break here at five something in the afternoon <laughs> it's been a really good day i'm sure you guys don't want to sit and watch me sip coffee or pick each and every one of these rounds up so i will check back in with you guys before i finish my day out and let you guys see kind of where i ended up man have i had a great day on this project i mean i ended up taking out one more tree it was standing right there customer request i'm going to grease up old yeller there for my buddy gene he's going to come up tomorrow with his chipper and he's going to knock that pile out for me and this pile i've got one more little pile down there i've got to collect i just want to do my end video for you guys before it got too dark this is some more material that came up i got to piece all of this up on monday haul it out that little pile but this lot's clearing out really nicely we're not wanting to take down any more trees than is necessary well the homeowner doesn't want to take out any more than is necessary I scratched this tree on purpose because it's surrounded by these other nice trees. So I'm gonna have Gene go up and take it down. I could have probably pushed it over, but I just don't wanna take a chance on the wind kicking up. A little pile of stumps. He had me pull right here. I'm having a blast up here. There's that tree I pushed over and it actually went to here. That's the stump from it. I already carried one piece up. So we're cleaning it up a little bit as we go. It just takes time. It takes time to clean these spots up. So thank you guys for joining me on this video. I have got the best viewers on YouTube. You guys are always positive and optimistic and I appreciate you guys. Your reviews really make a difference in my life. And that's a heck of a view for me to get to work. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And be sure to check out in the description a link to our merchandise store. Go over there, get you some hillbilly swag. And if nothing else, you can help this old hillbilly out with three easy steps. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next episode where we'll be finishing this job out.